Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through most of the questions on this quiz and how to read this graph. I'll leave a few open for you to try because I want to see if you're getting it. And what we're really doing here, we've been talking about these car comparisons all along, is we're going to look at a more comprehensive model of the 2021 Honda CRV hybrid and non-hybrid. So that's what we're looking at here. And this link, if you want to go compare it and see what we're doing, you can do that as well. But I want to start by explaining what you're looking at in this graph. On the x-axis is time in months. On the y-axis is the cost of each of these cars, the hybrid and non-hybrid CRV. So the blue line here starts off at a lower price is the non-hybrid. But eventually, because you have to use more gas, the cost of the non-hybrid will be higher than the cost of this line, which is the hybrid. So the hybrid has the higher starting cost, but then at some point in time, they have some point in months, right? The x-axis is months down here. At some amount of months, the hybrid becomes the cheaper vehicle after they're equal. Now that's what we're dealing with here. And down here, this purple line measures the cost uh, savings of buying the hybrid over time. It's negative in the beginning, because in the beginning, the hybrid's more but it's zero when they're equal and positive. You get a positive savings with the hybrid uh, after you reach the point where they're equal. Now, all of the work behind these graphs is encapsulated in these two folders. And you can open and close them with this little arrow here. This, in, this has all the functions that are presented here. And then you see all these variables. This folder has all the variables and what they mean. So you can play with these. And if you change something, you're like, ah, what do I do? You can always hit the undo button to reset it. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through this directly. So first of all, it says the function below shows the total cost of a hybrid as a function of the number of months driven. So h of x, this is in Matthew say h of x. x is the x-axis or number of months. h is for hybrid. So the hybrid, the cost of having the hybrid uh, as a function of some amount of months is equal to this equation right here. And all this is saying is that P1 is that's the cost, how much did the car cost? So here's the hybrid, it cost $30,560. And then as the number of months pass, you're gonna use more and more gas, it's gonna increase the cost of having the hybrid. And that's what this is, is happening right here. It's dividing by 12, that's how many months there are. G is for uh, miles per gallon. Right, how, how many miles per gallon do you get for this hybrid? D is the distance you're driving, and C is the cost of gas. So, so I'll say it again. D is the miles driven, C is the cost of gas, and G1 is the miles per gallon. Now that, that's changeable in this model. You can actually mess around with those variables to see how it impacts the graph, but we're leaving, it's already set for you. It's the actual numbers right now for the CRV. So that's what H of X is. It's the cost based of the hybrid based on how much you've been driving, right? The cost of gas. Let's go back to the quiz and look at that. Now there are four choices. A function, which one is it? A function that shows the cost of fuel and the purchase price of a hybrid as a function of months. That's the answer, right? Because in this case, this shows the cost of fuel and the purchase price of a non-hybrid. No, it's for the hybrid. And in the other cases, it says hybrid, non-hybrid, but it's based on years. And clearly this is based on months. In question two, they wanna know what does N of X represent? So let's scroll down and take a look. There it is. N of X is right here. It's almost the same, right? Structure, it's D, distance you're driving each year. Uh, C is the cost of gas. G2 is how many miles per gallon does the non-hybrid get? N for non-hybrid. 12 is divided by months. X is the number of months. And then P2 is the cost of the non-hybrid. So you can see it's a lower cost. This blue line starts off at 29360 but it's its cost is slightly, over time, is increasing at a slightly higher rate because it gets less miles per gallon. So here, if we go to our quiz, uh, we want to know what does it represent. So it's for a non-hybrid. It's going to be either this choice or this one. And again, it still has a function of months, so it is choice B. Then we want to know what which of the following best, best describes T of X. So I use, the, I use the letter T for total. Let's scroll down here. We're gonna go past this. Right now, it's at, um, it's at 120 months. It's the number of months. And what this is doing, just so you know, it's calculating the cost of the hybrid at that many months. That's including the gas plus the purchase price. And for N of M, M is months. It's the cost of the non-hybrid oh, after a period of months. So here's that function T of X. And look what it's doing. It's subtracting 
n of x minus h of x. It's finding the difference between those. So it's finding the difference between a non-hybrid and a hybrid. So if we go here, it's wrong quiz again. So which of the following best describes t of x? It doesn't add the cost, it compares. So it's gotta be one of these. A function that compares the purchase price for a hybrid to a non-hybrid. Well, it's more than just purchase price. It's also including the cost of gas. A function that compares the cost of fuel. Well, it's more than just fuel because it's fuel and purchase price. So it's choice D. A function that compares the cost of fuel and the purchase price for a hybrid and a non-hybrid. It says two and non-hybrid. I'll fix that. Um, I see. So that's, that's okay, actually. A function that compares the cost of fuel and the purchase price for a hybrid to a non-hybrid. That's what it is. Now, here I'm just telling you, this is not a question, I'm saying this graph, all of this work, this this website, it is specifically describing what we're looking at right here. So it's, it's, it's already set to, to compare these two cars. I just wanted to remind you of that. So in question four, it says, at which month does h of x equal n of x? In other words, at which month does the cost of a hybrid equal the cost of a non-hybrid? Round your answer to the nearest month. And again, it's saying cost that's including gas. Now in this program in Desmos, if you wanna see, it's like it's already kind of doing it. It's got that point right there where they're meeting each other, but you can just click on the graphs and it will show you the intersection point. And that intersection point is critical. It shows you this many months, 41.244 months, they both will cost $34,426.67, essentially, right? It's the nearest penny. And so that means in this case, how many months will it take before they're equal? Well, it's that number right there. It's 41. That's the month. What is the cost of a hybrid based on H of X at 120 months? Well, we already kind of passed that up here. But there it is. The slider below changes the number of months. You can slide this around. We want to take it to 120. And if you have a hard time dragging to a specific value, you can just type it in by clicking and then typing 120, hit enter. It makes an extra row, it doesn't matter, you can X that out. So the cost of the hybrid is 41,810, right? H based on months. Months are 120. So 41,810. Okay. What is the cost of a non-hybrid n of x at 120 months? So it's the same. It's the same thing because it's already at 120. So the same m value, excuse me. But you can see the cost here is a little different. It's 44101.38. So 44101.38. What was that? 38. Okay. What is the total difference between the cost of those two? Now you could go back and just subtract them, but we already have a function for that. So at 120 months, here T of M, the total difference in cost is listed out as 2291.38 to the nearest penny. 2291.38. 2291.38. Okay, now the questions get a little more interesting. If Sam chose to buy the hybrid CRV every 10 years for 50 years, how much in total would he save? Round your answer to the nearest whole number. Now, what I want you to think about is that you can't just, if you go to the months here, let's go slide this months. Uh, so I said, what did I say? For 50 years. <laughs> so 50 years, uh, 50 times 12 is 600. So this is actually set to go right to 50 years. Now, Look at these numbers, right? In total, over those 50 years, you would spend over 103,067 cents on a non-hybrid, but you'd only spend about 86,810 on the hybrid. Now that's weird because that assumes that you're not replacing the car at all. You're just driving it for 50 years. So if you had a hybrid or non-hybrid that actually operated completely for 50 years perfectly, well, then these, these would be the numbers you would be done. And that's what I'm saying over here. It's, it's not taking into account the fact that you probably want to replace the car. So I'm saying that Sam is replacing the car every 10 years. So my advice to you, this is a hint because this is a harder problem. I don't want to give you the answer to it. I want to see if you can get it. I suggest that if you look at every, what happens every 10 years, this is 120 months. This is telling you uh, the cost of the hybrid and the non-hybrid after 10 years, and this is the difference between them, that is the maximum cost difference between them because after 10 years, Sam's gonna buy it again and again and again and again. You can use that this model right here, this difference after 10 years to figure out 
what would happen after 50 years, of course you have to assume that none of these prices are changing. So I'll, I'll add a note to this, right? Try it out, see if you can get it. Okay, question nine. In 1970, you could buy gas for 36 cents a gallon. Isn't that crazy? Here is a chart that shows the history of the prices. Take a look at it, it's really interesting. Actually, I'll just show it real quick. So if you click on it, you can zoom in. This is basically saying in 1929, for example, the actual cost, you have to pay 21 cents per gallon. Now, what is 21 cents equivalent to today? In other words, what could you, you were able to buy things at 21 cents in 1929. What would you be able to buy? Uh, what equivalent amount would you have to spend today to buy the amount of same amount of stuff? How much would you have to spend that is just like that? Well, it's 238 today. That's why there's two numbers for each of these. It's the actual price. Right, national average gas price then, uh, in but versus now and now in 2015 dollars, this is about six years ago. But what would that be worth today? Right, that's those two numbers are showing us anyway. So I just want to play around a little bit. Basically, it says if gas stayed at 36 cents per gallon, how many months would it take for the hybrid to equal the cost of the non hybrid? So we're going to mess around with the cost of gas. So I'm going to close the functions folder. Here are the variables. I can mess around with anything. D, total miles driven in a year. P1, purchase prices, we can change that for different cars. Here's the cost of gas, we can change that, we're going to in a moment. And then miles per gallon of the hybrid, miles per gallon of the non-hybrid, so we can change all these things, right? We're changing the gas cost, the cost of gas at 36 cents, so 0.36, enter. Okay, now it's going to take a lot longer because gas is cheaper. It takes longer for the hybrid to become the better deal. So what you can do in Desmos, you can hit Shift, kind of scrunch this, and you can see they are going to cross eventually, but it just takes longer to get there. And now if you click around, you'll see it. There it is, 326.519. So to the nearest month would be 327. And then finally, in question 10, the price of gas has gone over 600% since 1970. Now that's that's an actual the amount you're spending. It's not in relative dollars. If the current average price of 245 increased by 600%, it would be about $17.15 per gallon. So I said, if gas costs about $17 per gallon, how many months would it take for the hybrid to equal the cost of the non-hybrid? So we go back here. And let's change the cost of gas to $17. Hit enter, and now we have to go the other direction. The hybrid will be the much better deal even faster. I'm just holding shift and dragging because the gas cost of gas is so much. So you can see it's about 6.915 or seven months. So it's a pretty dramatic, it's under a year, and the hybrid's the better deal. So the only one we haven't answered is right here, it's question eight. It's kind of a challenge question, give it a shot. Thanks.